What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and the balloon event just went live. I am so excited about this event. I've been using balloons so much. You guys have seen so many of my balloon farming videos and my other balloon videos. So we're going to try different balloon attacks that we haven't really done a ton and we're going to try a couple of them live. We're going to show you how to beat this event at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9, and Town Hall 8 so that you guys know how to beat this event you know, throughout the different levels here. So we see at Town Hall 10 you need to use 10 balloons three times to get 300 experience and 30 gems. We see the balloons are discounted from 4,500 to 450 for elixir costs to train up the balloons. Now this is gonna be varying at the different Town Hall levels. At Town Hall 9, you must use nine balloons. At Town Hall 8, you must use eight balloons. So we're gonna go ahead and show off a couple different attacks here. We're gonna start on the Town Hall 10. We're gonna do this strategy live. This is a strategy I haven't really done a ton. So let's check this out real quick here, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and use a Go Lalo, a Golem Lava Hound balloon attack. We got a Max Hound on the CC. We're gonna take a Jump Rage, some Poison, Freeze spell there. And we're just gonna go at a base, try to get in there with our Golem heroes, Wizards, Baby Dragon Kill Squad. Try to get out an Air Defense or two, maybe an Inferno, an Expo, depending on what the base looks like. We will try to take out a Town Hall 10 with this, so it'll be kind of competitive. And we'll see how it goes. This is, I haven't really used this attack. I know you can use two Golems on this attack. You th throw Bowlers in here, but we're gonna try this version of it. So let me go find a base and we will be right back, guys. All right, guys, this base has tons of loot available. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Again, I've never really used this strategy before. Uh, trying to see if there's anywhere we can really funnel with the baby dragon. Baby dragon's gonna be kind of wasted here. No big deal. Uh, I guess we, uh, those walls over there kind of screwing us over. Uh, yeah, baby dragon's gonna be kind of wasted here. Uh, let's throw in, let's throw in our golem here. Some wizards in behind here. I guess we'll throw the baby right in here. Tons of loot available on this base. Uh, so we had to give this a shot. Let's go ahead and try to wall breaker in here. Throw in our heroes. That's decent. Things are looking okay. Okay, so that's looking fine. That's looking fine. King, queen working. We got our golem working. We're going to try to jump into this compartment here. I don't know if that jump's going to work. We're going to drop this jump down here. Uh, king should get lured in. I forgot we got a poison. We're going to poison those giants. So queen, we're getting an air defense out. Ideally, we'd like to get both air defenses out. Get the giants. Get the clan castle down. Get an inferno down, but that does not look like it's working too well. Uh, Queen is dropping very fast, so we got some stuff taken out there. Not fantastic. Well, let's drop in our hound uh, there. Drop in our other. We're gonna drop in. Oh crap! Panic drop. Panic drop of balloons. All right, we want to drop our raid, our freeze right there. Rage and rage. I need rage. Rage in there. This is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. Not going too well. Uh, okay, so we got balloons going into the core. Let's drop this rage over here. Of course, we're going to be down our heroes. Uh, I don't know how this is going, guys. This is not going great. We do have a haste. Let's use that haste right there. Not terrible so far. I mean, it could be better for sure, but it is not awful, that's for sure. Uh, so we're actually getting through the base pretty well, in my opinion. We're getting through the base pretty well. We're going to drop those balloons there. We don't have cleanup troops, though. We have zero cleanup troops. Uh, hounds popping, so that's good. The hounds will give us some cleanup troops. We might get, um, I don't know if time's gonna be a little bit of an issue. I was gonna say we might get close to a three, but I don't think so. Those loons are gonna fall. So we didn't really get too much out of our heroes. That's kind of a shame. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna die there. So we got pups around the base. I don't think we're gonna get the tunnel. We're getting tons of loot. We definitely won the raid. So we're just gonna let this play out for a few. Uh, let it go. So this is literally the first time I've used this comp, used this strategy. Uh, kind of effective. Maybe should have uh, used a saved a few loons, a few extra loons back here. Maybe an extra haste. I don't know. Instead of maybe two extra haste instead of uh, one of the rages. That freeze was pretty nice. I like that. So we're just gonna let this clean up. Let get as much loot as we can out of here. Obviously. Maybe minions. I don't know. I would like the hounds to pop and that to be effective, but it wasn't very effective on here. So as we're finishing up here, getting this loot, finishing up the loot, unfortunately, we're not going to get that dark elixir in the core, but we did, we did do pretty well overall, I think on this one, not too bad. So this is a strategy you guys can try. 
We also have our, obviously, our Lalunian, our Lunian raids. We'll show a replay for that, of course, right after this. Nice loot there. Tons of Dark Elixir. We left like a thousand behind, but not too bad. So let's check out a Lunian replay here, guys. So this is going to be another technique you guys can use at Town Hall 10 to beat this strategy, or beat this challenge, rather. We got 30 loons, 26 minions, one hound. Uh, we either got a hound or minions in the clan castle. This is a replay here. So we're going to bring in our loon, our... our our hound rather be in front of our loons just to distract we're gonna go at that single inferno throw in the loons throw in the minions behind start hasten up our balloons to get them into the, the core of the base there uh we throw in the minions right away behind so that we can take out that enemy queen we see we drop a rage there so the minions and the loons and stuff are going to take out the enemy queen work through the base with the haste and the rage as we see here working pretty nicely we got that freeze we kind of missed the multi inferno but no big deal but this strategy is really really consistent i rarely use lose using this strategy so this is one you're definitely going to be able to beat the challenge with at town hall 10 it's a really great farming strategy i've covered the strategy not too long ago but i wanted to show this off give you guys another option here at town hall 10 in case you don't want to use golems and stuff you want to go straight air so a very solid attack strategy here as you see you clear out half the base you can hero dive in there uh, we're gonna just speed this up because the heroes are gonna come in at the end here and work on cleaning up the base getting some of that loot here to finish up the raid uh, but a nice two-star solid two-star raid here farming attacks again you just need uh, what 10 balloons which this strategy is 30 balloons so you'll be fine tons of loot there so let's go ahead and switch over to the town hall 9 and check out the town hall 9 strategy we would like to use all right guys for town hall 9 i'm gonna show you guys queen pop you guys see it a ton on my channel i love queen pop my man cast and blast is the inventor of queen pop go check him out cast and blast coc he does so much queen pop make sure you show him some love tell him bash sent you so what we're gonna do with queen pop is we're gonna be bringing in a zap quick we're gonna zap out one of the air defenses in this case we're gonna zap out this one here we got 25 loons three hounds a max hound in the cc we're going to lure out the clan castle bring them down to the corner so let's show that off we're going to zap out this air defense here if you don't know the zap quake like what works for zap quake check it out google zap quake uh coc and it'll, it'll bring up a chart to show you what works in this case uh two level five or level six lightnings and the uh i think even level one earthquake will work to take out that level six or level seven air defense at town hall nine i forget what is it at town hall nine but we're going to bring over the dragon over to the corner using our five archers uh, and just lure him over here. We see the archers dropping down. Archer Queen's going to go ahead and take him out right here. We're going to rage her up. If you can, just use your queen to take him out. That'll be fantastic. Take out the clan castle troops. Sometimes you will have to use the king, but not always. So we got the clan castle taken out here. And next up is the queen pop. What we want to do is we want to pop our hounds over the queen. So we're going to bring our hounds in kind of from down here over here just to soak up all the damages make them target all the hounds the queen will start targeting the hounds bring our, our the rest of our hounds in over here and bring in loons behind you'll kind of see what i mean here and then once our hounds are about to pop we want to rage up the hounds so that the pups are going to take out the queen so let's go ahead and show this off here we see that max oh no we see that max hound coming in the queen's targeting the max hound we see our other hounds our loons coming in behind and we're in a good situation we drop that first rage as the queen is popping right or as that first hound is popping we got loons going throughout the base the queen doesn't necessarily get popped right there but we still got pups on her we got loons on her and we're good we're working through the base saving the backside loons for over on the right side there and as we're just working through these pups are going to target that queen and take her out you see those hounds popping we use our haste to get to the last air defense and we're just going to easily three star this base the one issue i noticed about queen pop as it's too strong you get through the base too fast and you don't have cleanup troops you don't let your hounds pop or your hounds don't pop because you got through it too fast and you don't have cleanup troops so that's one issue that could happen with queen pop but in this case we have a very nice pop we get through the base in a hurry real nice easy money here just a solid attack i'm not showing you guys anything else at town hall 9 i think you should learn queen pop or a variation of it using maybe even different spells quad loon is op at town hall 9 or you could just even use straight up loonian just loons and minions but this is what i want to show you guys at town hall 9 queen pop is the way to go for this challenge so let's go ahead and get into our town hall 8 strategy guys all right guys on the town hall 8 i set it up purposely like this so we can finish on the town hall 8 get the last win and get our reward to see what that looks like live in person here so we need to use eight balloons at town hall eight so let's check out our army here so at town hall eight we're going to use zap quake with nine dragons and this is, i'm doing this as a test to see if this works i'm going to use four dragons our four loons and five loons in the clan castle so we'll have nine total qualifying for eight i want to see if it works 
to trigger the reward. If it doesn't work, we'll go back out and we'll hit again. But we're going to use a, basically a Dragon Zap Quake. We're going to go out, find a base, and then we'll be right back, guys. So let me go find a base, and we will hit it when we get right back. All right, guys, this base has tons of loot available. We're going to hit this one. We should be able to succeed against it. We're going to go ahead and zap out this air defense here. Uh, drop like that. Two lightnings, one earthquake. Zap that out. Uh, get that mortar there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and drop in. Let's check the corners there. We do have a corner building over here. We're going to start a little bit of a funnel here. Uh, we got to be careful because that one air defense right there is right there on the edge. That could be a little bit of a problem. So we're going to let that air defense kind of block onto one of our dragons. We're going to send in our level four balloons. <laughs> we don't even have level five balloons on this account. But they should be able to get to that air defense, take it out, and we should be good. And there goes the air defense. So we don't even have level five balloons on this account. Fantastical. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and rage up our balloons. Oh, no, we missed the balloons. We missed the balloons. We rage up our dragons there. Missing the balloons, but that's fine. The dragons will get to that last air defense. And we should be in pretty good shape here. We should be pretty solid here if I... If, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So I want to see if this works. I'm going to show you guys one more strategy for Town Hall 8. Just straight up Loonian. If you guys want to take advantage of how cheap the balloons are right now, we'll show you straight up Loonian, how to use that, how to be really effective with it. Loonian is going to be solid. So we definitely won this raid, and we don't have to worry about losing the raid, which is solid. We should get the three star here, and that's what I want to show you guys. A way to get three stars with it, you can use this in war, use this, you know, farming and whatnot, but dragons are going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you're pushing, maybe it's worth it or whatnot. So getting the three star with the dragons here as we finish it up, but I just want to show off a really easy, this is such a solid attack to use. People forget about dragons in Town Hall 8, and a lot of bases are really ripe for dragons. So there we go. Tons of loot available. Nice, nice loot. We probably profited there on the loot side. So let's go ahead, go back home, and see if we got our rewards. All right, guys, there you see it. Event complete. It does count. So if you have clan castle troops, it is going to count for you. We got our 30 gems. We got our 300 experience. So let me train up a Lunian, and then we'll be right so back. So I don't guys. know how well this is going to work with my town hall 8 only having level 4 balloons only level 2 minions this is my lowest town hall 8 account uh my main is pushing i did not want to you know use crazy loons i could probably use drag loon but i'm on a shield so we're gonna try out this loony and 28 balloons uh 30 minions bunch of rage and we'll see how this goes out so let me go find a base and we'll be right back All right, here we go we found a dead base a town hall town hall 9 this should work out that's the cc uh let's see all right sweepers over there all right so we're gonna just throw in all the balloons here uh splash damage is gonna be a b we're gonna throw in the minions right behind rage here rage here uh we'll save that third rage we'll be all right there tons of loot available i figured this would be a nice easy loot raid these balloons are so weak at level four though oh my goodness i cannot believe it the minions are so weak i should have poisoned that queen whatever it works we should get the win though so this is another strategy you can use to get the win if you have your level five balloons at town hall eight or stronger minions you will be fine i promise but my stuff is really weak guys my stuff's really weak we're gonna poison the skelly that's coming over to our minions uh, we want them to get that town hall there so we do win the raid and don't lose because the whole point of the challenge is win the raid so we're going to go ahead and drop the king here get some more loot so as this raid is finishing up we look like we're going to do all right here guys not too bad so again if you have those level five loons higher level minions you're going to be in a better situation than i was there but that's why i didn't really show off the loonian because this is my lowest town hall eight that i don't really do a ton of upgrades on yet uh because i don't play it a ton so very easy strategies to get stars with to not fail with we even attacked the town hall nine here yes i know it was dead but still very easy strategies hopefully this challenge this is going to help you guys beat the balloon challenge so pumped about the balloon challenge uh we're going to just go ahead and finish this up here because i want to talk about the upcoming event we did get some loot there i want to talk about the next upcoming event which is going to be amazing if we click here if you see upcoming events four times star bonus guys Holy crap, you're going to have to get those star bonuses. We'll talk about some strategies that are going to get you those three stars, get you those higher star strategies uh, to get through the, the four time. Oh my God, four times star bonus is going to be insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you drop a sub on it. Sub, sub to the channel, guys. Be part of Bash Nation. Show some love. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you guys are using to beat this uh, challenge here, the, the Loon Challenge. Make sure you leave a like. Please leave a like on the channel. Tell all your friends about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing, guys.